Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. If you are using the Mac OS and your Office 365 subscription has expired or it's about to expire, this video is for you. Today we are going to install and configure LibreOffice on Mac. It's a free alternative to Microsoft Office. I'll also show you how to make LibreOffice compatible with your Microsoft Office. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Okay, so first thing first, you can see I have a Microsoft Word and Excel install in on it. But you know, this is a preview version, so I'm not sure how long this is going to work. I thought of going for a best alternative for Microsoft Office. For that, we have to download the LibreOffice. So LibreOffice is a best and free alternative to Microsoft Office. Okay, let's go to our browser. So we'll open our Chrome browser. That's our favorite one. And in the browser, just type LibreOffice. And you can see this is the first link. So let's go to the LibreOffice website. And you can see here, the first link is download. So let's click on the download here and click the li down download LibreOffice. And it says that, do you want to download the LibreOffice for which one? Mac OS N or Linux or Windows 32 bit right so I have this Mac this Mac OS install on my Intel system if you have a Mac OS install on your Apple hardware right so just go with the Mac OS so let me go through this Mac OS Intel and download one click on the download one so it will go ahead and download the file it says that your download is uh, the .dmz file and this is going to be the 300 and 3 MB so you can see here you can see here it downloading okay so you can see here download is completed now it's time to open it so just close this one and uh, minimize this browser we need that it for later and just click on the download I can see here it's our LibreOffice.dmz just double click on that and it says that you want to install it so you say that you can see the arrow mark here so you have to drag it and drop it to the application right you can see this plus symbol here and you say that preparing for copy uh, copying the LibreOffice to the application so you have to just wait for a minute okay that's done so what we do is just close this one and go to our application here is the application and inside the application you should be able to see this LibreOffice where is our LibreOffice? Here we go. You can see this LibreOffice. Just open that file and it says that verifying the LibreOffice. Just wait for a few seconds so that it can verify and launch this application. Okay, so you can see this verification is completed and it says that uh, I have downloaded from the Do you want to open it? Yes, I want to open it. And this is going to open the LibreOffice. So let's minimize this one, this application tab. And you know, um, you can see this LibreOffice is mounted on your desktop. So right click on it and just click on edge so that it will get away from here and let's click on the LibreOffice once again okay so opening up and here we go you can see this uh, beautiful interface of LibreOffice and you can see this writer Cal M presentation and drawing so writer is your Microsoft Office if you compare with the Microsoft calc is your Excel the impress presentation your P presentation PPT right and this drawing is not um, uh, like a coral draw it's similar to the Coral Draw, I would say. So you have a four packages over here. So let's open this Writer document. I mean the Microsoft Word. Sorry, Writer document here, and it says that show in the startup. Just disable that. You don't want this, this message to be appearing every time when you open this uh, word. So, so uncheck that box and click on the OK. Now you have a Office install on your desktop. So you know, um, you can see here this looks like a Microsoft Office self and they can say hello how are you how are you right and uh, let's make this font bigger this is let's say 20 and you can select this font as which font we use mostly on our uh, oh so you can see here there are like fonts in the Bangla Hindi Gujarati and there are other op fonts also by default you are getting this all these uh, fonts here right there are other language fonts also so you can get just get try of it. There are Arabics and other other language also which I could not recognize it, but I can see that uh, by default you have uh, other fonts also. So okay, so um, I think most common font in the Microsoft Office is I think Arial ah, here. This is the most common font you have, or you have an option you can import the font also. You can see this. Hello, how are you? And let's save this document and give the name as LibreOffice, LibreOffice Word, and let's save with the doc. But you know this is asking about the save this is the ODT document this is the open file open document type so um, this is going to ask you for every time but I have a solution for you I, I don't want you to go every time and select this uh, DOCX document right this is the compatible version of your office so for this time just click this click the save and I'll show you how you can change this in the 
by default in the doc doc so it says that do you want to ask every time when you have audio when you're not selecting the overview document no just use this doc yeah so now you can see that we have a document created here and let me show you this uh, microsoft i have a microsoft office also installed on this machine it's mac os so let's open that and let me show you the similarity between LibreOffice and microsoft office okay so let's open the blank document here on the microsoft word and this is our microsoft word here you can see this is our microsoft word and you have insert right home insert and all but you may asking that did you have this tab version here you can see you have you can press the tab and it will keep moving your cursors here from if you press on this is the tab version you can see insert draw right you have a tabs different different tabs here so how can you enable the tab version on the library office so what we can do is you have to go to the library office click here and um, just click on the view bar sorry use interface and you can see standard and tab click on the tab and you have option to apply to all apply to all means it will apply to the all your other application like excel powerpoint and your drawing so let's click on the apply to all okay close and now you can see this is also come as a tab for you. you can see this file home insert right you can see because of the space is not showing here but you can see this is now it will look like your microsoft off right you click on the insert layout and then references so it, it look very similar very close to your microsoft office right so let's close this one let's close this library writer and now it's time to open the excel that's called a spreadsheet in the library of let's open spreadsheet okay i will click on that and now you can see this is also coming as a tabbed version you can click just click here and uh, click on the insert layout data so look very 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 close to your microsoft app. I'm, I'm not telling that but on the internet it says that library office is the the best alternative to microsoft office and many government like i live in india and my uh, an indian government suggests to use the library office and there are there are many many uh, organization who use library office to minimize the cost base uh, because you know that microsoft office is going with the uh, subscription base and uh, that's very costly one subscription will cost you 60 70 dollar per year so just calculate with the number of people in your office so this is how you have to pay it right so you can see this is the excel right so one more thing let's when you when you type something in the excel and try to save it let's say click on the save this is also going to add you for the odious document which which we don't want to use that right so what is the best way to do is close this one don't save and let's open the library office we can see here so that it should not irritate you or you should not ask you for the audio odf document every time when you save the file what you have to do is you have to open this library office and then you have to click on this library office icon here and then you have to go to preferences inside the preferences you have to go to the load and save here see this is off click here you have to go to the general and inside the general you can see for the text document you have to always save. you can see always save as you can see as a docx 2000 and 365 click on the apply and for your excel that's called a spreadsheet spreadsheet here again you have to go and select this uh, xls document this is 2007 365.xls click on the apply again and then you have to go to your document type and select this presentation then like your powerpoint and then in this always save as pptx this is 2007 365 click on the apply so that's it like this is the most application you use right click on the ok so now it's time to open this new let's go to the calc here right that's our excel and inside the excel let's create some uh, file here one two three and uh, four five six and now it's time to save it so just click on the save and when you click on the save you can see this is asking about that excel so let's give an uh, office name like excel library right and click on the save this is going to save in the document let's close this one and let's open this uh, powerpoint presentation also okay and these are the default templates here you can see let's open this default template and when you click on the save it should also ask you to save in the dx file so let name as a ppt libre and save that in the document folder right and say so what difference did you see right so when you have to add any context to the document is exactly that okay so let's close this one now let's go to our document and you can see that we have a three files here right okay just go to this excel file and double click on it and you can see when you double click on it by default this is opening in the microsoft excel because we have changed the extension and then let's open this word file and you can see this is opening in the microsoft word and you can see this exactly this arial font we have given and here also we have a arial font so there is no problem with the compatibility close this one 
open this ptx file sign in because we have not used this powerpoint so that's the reason it was asking for the first time opening so you can see now we have a powerpoint presentation added without any problem so you can see how compatibility is with microsoft office it work very closely with microsoft office so if you do not have a microsoft office or you do not want to pay for the microsoft office this is the best choice for you now let me show you one more thing let's say um i do have a um, office 365 install here but got spied and it keep asking you to activate the license or it's only opening in the read only how do you want to open this file default into the LibreOffice? so what you have to do is right click on it and click on the open with and you can see LibreOffice. so this will open the file in the LibreOffice. so let's open that in the LibreOffice. So right click and i'm done in this LibreOffice, and you can see this is opening in the this is the LibreOffice you can see here by default this is opening in the LibreOffice. but if you want every time to open the LibreOffice, you will have to right click on it and click on the open with other app click on the other and it will show you the list here okay so you can see here uh, you, you see the list here it says that application and you have to come down select this LibreOffice from the list left hand side list you can see LibreOffice and you have to select always open with check that box and click on the open so now it should be open with the LibreOffice only says so that verify the developer option okay no problem just click on the open and you can see this is open with the LibreOffice just close this one and try to reopen it just that working with the LibreOffice and you can see this is opening with the LibreOffice so this is how you associate your extension with the particular office file so this is i mean you can do with all this application right again you can do with this doc and the ppt access the same thing open with and uh, others select LibreOffice and the application list select the LibreOffice and always open with and open. that's it it's going to open always with it LibreOffice. so many of you are interested to install the your language pack in the LibreOffice. so how do you do that so you have to open the LibreOffice, and in the LibreOffice, we have to click on the tools extensions here so you can see in the extensions we have this uh, english french and spanish so if you want your custom language to be installed here click on the add and you have to download the extension from the LibreOffice. so wherever you have the extension select that and click on the open so what is that it it will install your language to your LibreOffice. this is how you can and you can see this get more extension so just click on it if you're, if you're not sure where to download this extension and just keep all this checkbox you can keep all the checkbox um, selected here don't play with that and you can you have a uh, extensions here there are many extensions here language extensions drawing other icons all the extensions are here all you have to do is go ahead and download your custom um, extensions here so let's say um, download arabic you can see this is for extension for the arabic text right so just go ahead and download this is how you can go ahead and let's say if i click on this download download latest so it's downloading here you can see this the extension is oxt so this is about the one extension guys you can have um, you can install it as you want click on the add and click on the download here see michelle.open and this is adding this file so once adding it done this will be you are good to go with your screen right so that's it for today's video what we have done today so just to recap it we have installed this LibreOffice. then we have changed the extension right then we have changed the open width right and then we have added the language extension to it right so that's it for today's video if you found this video helpful please subscribe for more videos like it feel free to share your thoughts and or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topics you would like to see in the future video thanks for watching the video see you in the next one